Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kendris. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Clip Studio Paint brushes and materials. And I'm going to be showing you how you can make them and how you can use them to work faster and make a lot of things easier. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you where you can go download all these brushes I'm going to show you. And you can download them for free and use them however you like. So what's cool about Clip Steel Paint is that you can make a lot more complicated brushes that I don't think you can make in other programs. So I want to show you how I did this like a little sketch. And <clears throat> I can have like my mountain brush. So you don't have to go there and like draw everything. You just go through and create maybe some mountains uh, pretty basic uh, you know you have I'm sure you have seen the some of these uh, so brushes like this you know you have a cloud couple cactus something like that you know different things like that it's pretty cool and you see how fast you can just draw your scene like you create your materials then you can create your environment pretty cool quickly you know you can have like little details like this uh, like rocks and I like this better even better than a like texture so you can change it like you know if you wanna say the ground is like on an angle here like a slope or something like that and so you can see you can create your backgrounds pretty quickly you know, and I made them like kind of like a dead line weight. I made them with really, like a dead line weight. You know, it's just pretty like thin. The reason I did it like that is because let's say you have like the light coming from here, then I can go in and I start adding detail, like all the shadows here, make the line thicker over there, on that side. It lets you like still have like some control of how you want to like the line work to go you know and if it's on the other side you know you can make lines thicker on the other side um also if something's far you can just leave it like that and something that's closer you can have like a thicker you can go over uh, overlapping shapes um you know the shadows or anything like that yeah, and I don't want to go too much into detail, but you get the idea. It's uh, pretty basic. Um, and, you know, if you're wondering why I did, the line is kind of like so crappy, well, that's why. Uh, I didn't want to go too much into detail because later, you know, it will be harder. You know, it's better to leave it for later and then you go and fix it. Uh, fix the line weights and things like that so okay so let's go into how you make them so let's say i drew this rock uh what i like to do is i put so i put a, back, a white background so the reason i do that is because then if you put like a, something in, uh, on top you know then it covers it so it's almost like you painting on top of it if you have no background what it does is Let's see, pretty much something like this. See what where you can see the the other object or the other lines, and you know you only see the outline, and that's gonna you know it's not gonna look right. It just uh, it, it looks like a mess, pretty much. That's why I put like a white background. You don't have to worry about erasing the background. It just like covers it automatic because of the white. And then that way you can kind of build on top of each other and you know make it almost like a texture you can build like a side of a mountain or something like that after you have your, the, the brush that you want hold command and press you know click on the layer on, on the little picture if you click on the other side it doesn't work it has to be on the picture so it selects everything hold command and select the layer and make sure you don't have anything you know it's like everything is it, everything else is transparent maybe like the background is another layer so 
after that you go here edit edit raised material and image so that's pretty much it then you know you give it a name uh but okay so you give it a name and then you have to click here use for brush tip shape and then you go here material and you can image material and then you can save it whatever you want uh, I, for this I made like a folder like desert so I put all the desert ones over there how do you make the materials how do you make the brushes is so you let's say you're any of these brushes you create you can click this little thing so the way they do it, uh, it pretty much it creates a copy and you can choose like the little icon like, it doesn't really matter you know you, create, you click here and then pretty much creates a copy of an existing brush but yeah and that doesn't matter and then you can change it you can put it whatever you want you can put it like on a separate group after you have your duplicated brush uh, you go here to tool property and click let's say let the little uh, I guess tool so you go you go here to brush tip let's say what well, they are deleted all the tips they have okay so let's go here brush tip you can click here and then it shows you all the materials that you have so you can just select and Clip Zero Paint brings already a good amount of materials and then you can combine them and make your own brushes. So I have this rock. So now that's the tip of the brush. So when I use this brush, you know, it just uses that. Pretty simple. And, but also you can keep adding more. See all these rocks, right? And you can put a lot. I don't know how many. Maybe it's unlimited. Uh, I haven't tested how many you can put, but you can put a lot, like more than ten, like a lot more uh, different. So, uh, so if you add different brush tips, it's gonna all these are gonna be they're gonna be the brush. So in this video, I'm not gonna go too much into detail because it will take forever. Like. Uh, I can go, but I'm sure most of you guys are not gonna watch <laughs> all of that. Uh, I might do like a extra, like a different video, like talking about like extra settings if you guys want to see that. But uh, when I started this video, I didn't think it was gonna be this long. But it, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. But you don't, you don't need to really, you don't need to know all the stuff to to make your own brushes and things like that okay so the be the the best way to get into making brushes like this is to just because at first you gotta rely on the other brushes that are, that exist so for example if you want to create something like this what i will have to do is just copy it Maybe you want to create a different mountain. So, okay, you go to brush tip and then you just change the brush tip. Okay, let me show So, let me show you how you can make this kind of brush. We'll make it like that, like seamless. I use the symmetry ruler and I have something like this. Right, so if I draw, you know, you're going to make the, it's pretty much going to make the line symmetrical. It mirrors the selection you know you have a selection you know those on both sides so what you can do is just select it and you know whatever you select it makes it like one shape you can just draw whatever you want you know something like that and what really matters is like the ends like the middle doesn't matter so after I do that uh, the middle uh, you just want like this the points that meet so let's say you know that's the only thing that matters pretty much like the the ends like you can change anything else and it's still gonna be pretty much seamless try not to mess with the ends too much so you know definitely don't change or erase anything 
So I have something like this. Can I really make a brush tip if you have the rule the ruler? So you have to delete the ruler. Forgot about that. So delete the the ruler and now you can actually save it. Okay. Uh, so now I go to my brush. You know, it has the at the moment it has like the other. You know, this is the copy of that one. So uh, all I do is go to brush tip. I delete <clears throat> that. It doesn't matter. Like you only delete it from there. You still have it in the materials. And you can still change the pressure sensitivity or the velocity or anything like that. So this is a like pretty much basic explanation where you know you take a an existing brush. Uh, so you just take a brush that behaves like the way you want it and just change the change the brush tips that's pretty much the the, the basic way to, to make your own so I have uh, uh, created all, all these brushes it's like 17 before I show you where you can download these brushes I can show you where how you can, you can install them and or export them so it's pretty simple uh, let's say you have you created this brush you go here, click it, and then export sub tool. That's pretty much it. Then you save it, whatever you wanna save it. Uh, pretty simple. And then if you wanna install, uh, uh, if you wanna install brushes, you click import sub tool, and go to the folder where you have the brushes and boom that's it it's pretty simple so i'm gonna put a link in the description and you can go ahead and download these brushes and you can you can see a little preview here um got rocks trees uh, palm trees dry trees mountains uh you know a couple of different things cactus and things like that like kind of desert theme and you know it's like 17 brushes with a lot of different materials so you can just go here i put a link in the description or at the end of the video i'm gonna have a link to uh you go here is on my website go here you click on the image and it will take you here right, and then you go go here and you just download uh you know, download them and Pretty simple, you, you can install them, like I showed you earlier. I'm gonna be making a, a lot more like different themes like forests, mountains, swamps, or things like that. And if you guys like them, the way you can get them is by, is by joining the mailing list. You can sign and you get like special updates like that. Uh, this, uh, this first one is just gonna be for everybody. But you know, I can see how it is if you like them or not. So you can leave comments of maybe other materials you would like, maybe other other kind of environments or any other things. You know, just check this out; they're free. Yeah, if you want to see more, just join the mailing list, and I'll I'll be in the upcoming weeks. I'll be sending uh, different ones to those people. So that's gonna be it for the video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, share it with your friends and followers, and anything like that. That would be that would be very helpful. So that's it for now. Take care. Bye.